Using proper form for these exercises is the best way to prevent injury. Please consult your physician if you have any physical concerns. Drink plenty of water, rest when you need to, and have fun. and welcome to 3ABN Fit Club. I'm Coach Mills and we are so happy you've joined us. Today we're going to use jump ropes but in a different way than you normally would. Hopefully you're going to like it. Before we start let me ask you a question. Can you think of someone in the Bible that demonstrated obedience to God? Who is the person you're thinking of? And at home think about it and um, in studio let's think about it and we'll ask at the end. Okay? So let's first start with, if you can go and walk to the front of your mat and pick up your bands for me, please. I'm going to use this jump rope to show you that you can use a jump rope instead of a band. And all you're going to do is take and hold it like this. Okay, can you all do that with your band? And hold it up above your arms. All right, good. Let it come behind you and back up and in front of you. Try to keep your arms straight behind you. Good, back up in front of you. And that's okay if your arms bend, that's okay. But spread your hands out on your band a little bit. And your band can ex is elastic, so it can go over and up. One more time. One and two, very good. Can you do me a favor and hand those bands to Mr. Carter or Miss Ramona? And we won't need them anymore. Okay, hand your bands on over. Okay, and while we're doing that, everybody, let's go to the front of your mat and grab your bean bag for me, please. Miss Ramona, can you hand me a bean bag, please? Thank you so much. We're gonna try some balance work with our bean bag in our warm up. Does that sound okay for everybody? All right, so if you can all put your bean bag and balance it on the back of your hand for me. And let's go ahead, see if we can keep it balanced on your hand. Lower your arms, raise them to your shoulders. That's one, down and up is two. Can you count with me? And three, how we doing? And four, very good, let's switch hands. Put it on the other hand. Are we ready? Let's see if we can do this. All right, down and up is one. And two, this one might be a little bit harder. Three and four, very good. This time, let's put it on your elbow. Put it on your elbow, this one might be a little bit hard. Put your hands together, your arms together like this, and you're just gonna twist, 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 twist. Oh, they've got really good balance in studio. How are you doing at home with your balance? If you don't have a bean bag or anything to place on your arms, that's okay. Let's switch arms. Let's try the other ones. You can still do this even if you don't have a bean bag or something to balance. It's a good way to warm up your body. All right, very good. Last one, let's get our hearts warmed up and lower body. Put our bean bag on our head and let's go ahead and march in place. See if we can keep those bean bags. We're doing great. I can see it. I hear no bean bags hitting. Oh, I said it too quick, didn't I? Very good. Take your bean bags off. Let's place them in the front of your mats where you got them from, please. Can I hand this one over to you? We'll need it again later, but. Okay, on the floor, you have jump ropes. We're gonna use them differently than you normally would at maybe school or something like that. And that is, we're not gonna jump them, but we're gonna jump over them like a river. Can you imagine them being almost like a river? And I would like you to jump side to side and walk backwards. So it looks like this for those at home too. Side to side to side to side to side. Walk backwards. Do you think you can all do that here? Yeah. Do you think you can all do that here? Yeah. Okay. We're going to do this together. Ready? And go. Side to side to side to side. Walk backwards. Good. Go again. And walk backwards. And very good, keep going. We don't wanna make big jumps, just little jumps. Nice, awesome, great job. One more time for everybody. 
I like how it looks. It looks really good. All right, good job. All right, the next one is, I kind of like to think of it like spider junk jumps. Does anybody like spiders here? <gasps> That's awesome. Does anybody not like spiders here? Can I raise both hands and leg? I'm not a huge fan of spiders. I do not like spiders, but we're gonna pretend that we're spiders for this part. And you're gonna jump over like a spider would jump over the water. And then you're gonna come back to where you started from. Did you see how slow I'm doing this? We don't have to go super fast. You can still get your heart rate up and we can still take little jumps. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. This looks so good. Remember, we don't have to speedy Gonzales it. It could go slow so we don't fall. At home, again, if you don't have a jump rope, you can just use a spot on the floor and jump over that. And one more time for everybody. Very, very good. And go ahead and stop for me. That was great. Here's what I want you all to do. Pick up your ropes for me. And do you see uh, what I'm gonna do with my rope? You're gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna take the handles on the other end and fold it a half again. And then give the handle and other half to Miss Ramona or Mr. Carter. Can you do that for me, please? Go ahead, you all did a fantastic job. Great job. Thank you for jumping on the river for me today and trying something new. Okay, what I would like you to do is, I actually am gonna use Carter here, and he is gonna show us our first strength exercise for today. And it's gonna work your abdominal muscles. Can you all show me your abdominal muscles just like this? This is your abdominal muscles. He's gonna lay on his back, and he is gonna do flutter kicks. All right, so he's on his back, and he's gonna go for a little bit forward for us. And all, do you see how his shoulders are off the floor, and he's kicking his legs? You think you can do that? Thank you, Carter. Ready? Go ahead and lay on your mats. That's perfect. Okay, we wanna, let's put our heads on the back of our mats and the, our feet at the front of the mats. Can we do that? So I'm gonna switch you around this way. Yep, are we ready? Okay, lift your shoulders off the floor a little bit. Okay, let's count our flutter kicks. We're gonna do 10. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job. Can we try that again? But this time, let's try to really work hard to not bend our knees, keep our knees straight. Can we do it? All right. Are we ready? Three, two, one. And count with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very, very good. Okay. Um, would you like to show us the next? Oh, no. I think I'm going to show this one. All right. I'm gonna show you how to do this one. Everybody, I would like you to be on your mats, but face that direction on your side. Can you all do that with me? And I'm gonna be on my spot side, right this way, face that direction. Very good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bottom leg and I'm gonna bend it. Can you bend your knee? And then I would like your top leg to be straight and you're resting on your elbow. Okay, we're resting on our elbow. And what we're gonna do is we're going to raise our bottoms up and hold it. And then if you would like to have more of a challenge, raise your leg and lower, okay? Are we ready? All right, let's, um, do you think you guys can count for me too while we're doing this? Do you think you can? Okay, all right, let's count to eight. Are we ready? Everybody up and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Roll over to the other side, face this wall. Okay, same thing, let's get started. That um, bottom leg, let's bend that bottom leg and keep our top leg nice and straight and we're up on our elbow. Are we ready? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing and count to eight. Ready, lift up and let's count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Go ahead and sit up for me. All right. 
Would you like to show us our banana exercise, Carter? This one's a fun exercise to do. So he's on his back, and he's going to squeeze, banana, squeeze, banana. What do you think, everybody? You want to try it? All right. Scooch forward a little bit on your mat. Do you guys want to try this one? Yes. Yes. Wait, let's do that again. Yes. yes. All right. All right. Are we ready? Let's do four of them. Everybody lay flat. Lay flat on your mats. And ready? Lift up and squeeze your elbow. I mean, your knees. Go. Down. Squeeze. Two. Down. Good. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. One more. Squeeze. And down. Very, very, very good job. Everybody stand up for me. Come to the left side of your mats, please. This side of your mats. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, we are going to stand up. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a squat. Slap our knees. 12 snaps. You think we can do that? And I want you to count while we're slapping. You think we can do that? We're going to do that four times. All right, ready? Ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah! Oh, that's a little bit better because I think you're ready now. All right, ready? Go ahead and get into a squat. Slap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Stand up. Good. One thing I want to talk to you about when we're doing a squat, we want to make sure our knees go out and our feet stay flat on the floor. We don't go forward on our toes, okay? Can we try to remember that this time? And if you can't snap, just clap. Does that sound good for everybody? Let's do that one again. All right, ready? I want to hear you counting. Everybody squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Woo! Can we do one more? Yeah, can we? Yeah! Oh, thank you, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and squat, slap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome job, everybody. Can you sit on your mats for me? And I'm going to sit right here. Okay, Ms. Ramona and Mr. Carter, are you ready? The Bible is full of people that answered oh, and obeyed God. I have a favorite. Who is someone that you can think of that obeyed God? Go ahead and raise your hand and they'll come to you. Abraham. Oh, Abraham. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Noah. Noah. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Paul. Paul. Do you know who my favorite is? Esther. I love the story of Esther and how she obeyed God. Let's go ahead and go ahead and do some stretching to cool us down. Legs are crossed. One hand here on the side. The other one goes up and over. I count one. You count two up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. Straight out in front of you. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay without bending your knees, but go ahead and straighten out your legs as fast as, as far as you can. Ready? Grab those toes. I count one, you count two. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Sit up for me. One last one. Let's do it really quick. Hands and twist and look behind you. Good. Go to the other side, twist and look behind you. Very good. You all did a great job today, and thank you so much for joining us on 3ABN Fit Club. Be blessed.